hey guys welcome to another recreating video in this video i will be recreating this nail set by vanessa's nails and this nail set has been taken instagram on a storm by a storm whatever the saying is so yeah i'm going to start by putting down this french bead and i'm going to work my way up to the cuticle Right here, I'm applying another bead to make the fringe a little bit more longer because the nail is long and I don't want a sharp, a, a short fringe tip on a long nail. This is probably one of the most satisfying acrylic application I've ever done. Like. I mix all of these acrylics, they are custom made but the consistency of them, they're, they're, the consistency of them is good for this green one for example. You'll see me go back over this green one with another bead because it is marbling. So yeah, some parts of it doesn't look green, it looks clear so I'll go back over it like right here with another bead. And this nail is a uh, umber nail. I don't know why I put that much acrylic right there. I was probably rushing. But nevertheless, it turned out great. Right here, I'm just going in with another tiny cuticle bead to perfect it. Okay, so <laughs> this nail is the marble nail and marbling is not my friend. I've always seen this... Um, it's a good technique to put very wet beads and try to swirl them so that's what I did and I don't know I think it turned out okay but right here it just looks like I was doing foolishness so right now I'm just trying to get back my shape And then I went ahead and encapsulated that so I didn't mess it up. This here is going to be another ombre nail. The way she did it in the video, she um she did the ombre and then she squeeze the acrylic with something so that it can create that fishnet design but I know that these acrylics was going to dry up on me so I didn't do that I you're going to see what I did instead as I said the consistency of these acrylics it's it's bomb to me it's bomb you know it's better than the ones i buy in my local beauty supply store because look how smoothly the green applies and the green is basically the powder and clear okay right here i'm going in with another bead to bring down the umbra more into the nail Time for the glitters. So she used, I think, brown and gold glitters in hers. But because I wanted to switch up the colors, I did have the brown, but I wanted to do green. So I, I'm using green glitter and gold. So 
so yeah i'm just putting down a bead of clear so that the glitter can adhere to the nail again i don't know why i did that i just i probably it, it looks better when it's wet i don't know yeah probably i was trying to get rid of the white streaks on the nails so yeah this nail is a french tip with a glitter ombre so basically the glitter is going to ombre down the nail so that's what i did i also add this fine um glitter to add more definition to the gold ones because the nail just look empty without it so yeah putting on the gold glitters and after i did the glitter ombre look i'm going to encapsulate it okay right here i'm showing you guys how i file so first i file underneath the nails then do a 90 degree angle and file at the sides then i file the surface of the nails like this i don't like filing with the e-file the only time i'll file with the e-file is if i'm um i'm doing a real person's nail and i need to go over the cuticle area so yeah and this is how i get the sharp look at the edge you have to turn around the nail and shape it please don't put person's hands between your legs right here i'm doing the 3d flower and this 3d flower has been pretty pretty viral pretty viral you know people has been doing this and they're making charms out of this so first i'm going to put one petal to the side and i can't explain it but i have to put the petal like that so i, so I know exactly where the next one will go so i'm going to create three three small petals and then i'm going to do the two long ones but when i did that i realized that i didn't bring them down enough so i had to put another little petal in between and it looked kind of weird but that's okay good morning Coco. what's up guys that's my dog she's here looking at me like i'm talking to myself okay so for the pointed ones all i did was to place the bead and shape it round just like i would shape the other ones but the edge after shaping the body of it i shaped the edge pointy as you can see me do here nothing special to it in order to get the rhinestones to look um, scattered I noticed that you need to follow this pattern whenever you want anything to look um, scattered on the nail whether it's flowers rhinestone whatever follow this pattern it's like a kite pattern right guys just look at that reveal the glitter is so pretty and this is how it turned out it is really pretty i just wish that the pictures would show that it's really pretty look at that oh my god look at the gold glitter thank you guys for watching bye have a great time <laughs>